hey welcome back to the lecture in the previous lecture we built our kernel module against our host didn't it and in this lecture let's try to build our kernel module against our target after that we can transfer the kernel object file that is dot ko file from host to target and then we'll test on the target now you can use the same command here but you have to do a couple of changes here First of all, uh, this hyphen C should point to um, target's kernel source tree. Where it is? It is there in our workspace. Let's give that path. Workspace, LDD, source, Linux, BBB 4.14. Or you can also give um, the modules install path, that is root lib modules uh, 4.14.108. You can also give that or you can directly give the linux source path and uh, m is equal to pwd that will remain same and target that is modules will remain same no problem but you need to cross compile because you are testing this kernel module on the target that is beagle bone so you have to cross compile that's why we have to mention the cross compiler before this hyphen c mention arch is equal to arm and cross compile that's it cross compile arm linux gnu eabi hf hyphen this looks like a long command isn't it later we'll learn how to include this command in the make file itself we need not to type all these commands everything we can drive from the make file so we'll learn that later this is a command and let's hit enter there is an issue this issue is because we use sudo that actually messed up with the path environment variable let's fix this what you do is just cat your bash rc copy this path toolchain path just copy this after that, uh, just open sudo vi etc sudo's file. Just open this file. And here you see secure path. Here paste it. What you do is go at the end, give colon, and paste that path. That's it. And save and exit. After that, try again this command sudo make you can see that the module is built if you just run file main dot ko now you can see that this is built for arm you can also run mod info command on main dot ko to extract the module description which you have given in the uh, kernel module source this is a string we added board is equal to beagle bone black this is a description this is the author this is the license and various other things you can also run this command arm linux gnu eabi hf object dump hyphen h main dot ko you can run this command to analyze various sections of the kernel object file just hit enter and you see here that is the init section so your modules initialization function is actually placed in this section dot init dot text it is not placed in dot text and your modules cleanup function is actually placed in this section dot exit dot text and uh, you see various other sections here like this is the data section basically it is showing zero because our kernel module doesn't contain any data let's transfer this dot ko file to the beagle board i'm going to open new terminal and i'm going to connect my beagle bone black hardware to the pc i'm going to power my beagle bone black hardware let me just open minicom can see that the kernel is booting
let's make one directory here let me call it as drivers let's uh, copy our kernel module into this directory let's go to the host the host and let's do secure copy scp main.ko and uh, we are transferring this to target target's username debian ip address 192.168.7.2 and the path is home debian drivers this is a new folder we created in the home directory of the beagleboard let's hit enter here there is some problem with the ssh connection it is showing you the solution you have to run this command let's run this command if you are seeing this error then only you need to do this otherwise no problem let's paste this that's fine let's try once again so are you sure want to continue connecting yes it is asking you the password of the beaglebone temp pwd and you see here we copied main.ko let's go to the beaglebone command prompt here and go to drivers here it is main.ko let's do sudo insmod main.ko so now here you can see that it has printed hello world actually it got printed uh, directly onto the terminal so i'll explain why that happened in a later lectures when we discuss about uh, kernel logs and kernel log priorities you can also run the message here to see that uh, message or you can just type d message bar tail you can see that message let's remove that module sudo rm mod main.ko you can see that it prints goodbye word now we tested our kernel module on the target in the next lecture we'll build the same kernel module but not as out of tree but let's try with in tree building i'll see you in the next lecture